Hello ladies and gents, in this video I'm going to show you how to prepare a 3D model for use with the 3D printer. The first thing you need to do is create your 3D model in your preferred 3D modeling app. On the screen I've created a model in SketchUp and another copy in Tinkercad. To download your model from SketchUp, in the top left hand corner you'll see three horizontal lines. Click those and then click download and click STL. After a few seconds, you'll see the STL has downloaded into your downloads folder. If you open that folder, you can see the file here, test3dprint.stl. To download the file in Tinkercad, open Tinkercad and then go to export in the top right hand corner of the screen. With the window that opens up, click the .stl button and after a few seconds, your file will download to your downloads folder. If you open the folder, you can now see I've got the one from SketchUp and another version from Tinkercad. The next step is to prepare your file for use with the 3D printer in the slicing software. So open Simplify 3D on the computer in the classroom and then import your model. Do that by clicking the import button in the top right hand cor left hand corner of the screen. Click import, go to your downloads folder and pick your 3D modeling file. So I'll use test3dprint.stl and then click open. That will drop onto the print plate. Double click the file and check the measurements on the right hand side of the screen to make sure they match what you originally created in your 3D model. So I created a 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter cube and I can see those measurements match. So this model is okay. If you're happy with that, click the prepare to print button in the bottom left hand of the screen. After a few seconds, your model will print. And then if you're happy with the way the processed model looks, click on the picture of the SD cards where you can see the writing, save tool paths to disk. Click that and then select your SD card on your computer. Make sure you've inserted an SD card, otherwise this won't be visible. Your SD card might be called something different. You'll be able to tell which one is the SD card by seeing this small triangular eject button next to it under locations. Select your SD card and then click save. Once that's done, go to your SD card again. Check that the file is on the SD card. You can see test 3 dprintgcode there. So that's the file we'll use with the 3D printer. You can eject the SD card by clicking on the eject button. And if you go back to the finder window, you can see the SD card is now gone and you, it's safe to remove the SD card from your computer. Then all you need to do is click on the exit preview mode in the slicer software. And then you can remove your 3D model if needed. So you can use the slicer again with a different project. Once you've done all that, take the SD card to the 3D printer and print out your model. 